Good morning, I'm Lauren Hayes for the Finance News Network. The big question is whether markets can go on with it this week after Thursday's mega bounce and Friday's more restrained follow-up. There's a bit more data ahead with last week dominated by Thursday's Consumer Price Index. This week it's the turn of the Producer Price Index to either confirm or undermine the hint of inflation relief from the CPI coming in under forecasts at an annual 7.7%. Economists at Moody's wrote at the weekend that the producer price index serves as a good leading indicator of whether consumer price growth is likely to continue slowing in the near term. The S&P 500 closed out its best week since June as a report showing slowing inflation on Thursday raised hopes that the Federal Reserve would soon slow its tightening campaign. The broader market index added 0.9%, bringing its gain for the week to 5.9%, its best week since the week ending June 24 of this year. The Nasdaq Composite added 1.9% and the Dow Jones Industrial Average gained 0.1%. Tech stocks on Friday shook off a decline in cryptocurrencies, which came under pressure Friday after FTX announced its filing for bankruptcy. Bitcoin fell 5%, Ether declined more than 3%. Still, tech stocks and related crypto stocks rebounded after opening lower Friday. The gyrations Elon Musk is engaging in at Twitter to save his $44 billion investment is far more important to stock market sentiment than the continuing implosion of the crypto world. As Elon Musk struggles to contain his growing losses at Twitter, Tesla's struggles in China are raising questions about the revenue and earning stability of the EV-making giant. The past month has seen two price cuts for its Shanghai-produced Model 3 and Model Y vehicles sold into China. The cuts were not explained by Tesla and most reports said it was in response to the soaring sales of Chinese rivals led by BYD. And this is important for the renewable sector, especially lithium, cobalt, nickel and copper suppliers and battery makers. While demand won't be hit in the medium to long term if Tesla loses its way, the short term impact could be very worrying. Across the sectors, energy was the standout with healthcare lagging. Shares of Amazon were up more than 4%, while Google parent Alphabet was roughly 3% higher. Stocks with a high exposure to China popped after Beijing said it would lift some COVID restrictions, shortening quarantine time for international travellers by two days. Casino stocks, Wynn Resorts and Las Vegas Sands were more than 8% and 6% higher, respectively. And on the earnings front this week, the focus is on retail, with Walmart, Home Depot, Macy's and Coles all reporting, which should give insight into how the consumer is reacting to higher prices. On the currency front, one Australian dollar surged on Friday, buying 67.21 US cents. Now to commodities, iron ore is 4.7% higher and its futures are pointing to a 2.7% gain. Gold added 0.9%, silver lost 0.2%, copper jumped 4.1% and oil gained 2.9%. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.6% gain. I'm Lauren Hayes. Enjoy your day.